Somalia has asked the Ethiopian ambassador to leave the country. Somali officials say it's because of the port deal in January between its breakaway region of Somaliland and Ethiopia. And this will allow landlocked Ethiopia to lease 20 kilometers of coastline. Somalia also said that it's closing two of Ethiopia's consulates, one in Somaliland and the other in the semi-autonomous region of Puntland. But the government in Mogadishu does not control these regions. We have Catherine Soy following uh, the developments for us out in Nairobi. So tensions between Somalia and Ethiopia have been growing for months now. What specifically led to Somalia expelling the Ethiopian ambassador this time? Yes. Yes, these uh, tensions have been escalating since uh, this feud between the two countries started uh, back uh, in January. And it started uh, when Ethiopia um, tried to make an agreement, a deal with uh, Somaliland, which is uh, the re breakaway region um, in uh, Somalia. So uh, the government uh, was very angry about that, uh, saying that it was an infringement of the territorial rights. Now, this particular uh, problem uh, that has triggered uh, the expulsion of this uh, ambassador is from Puntland. And uh, Puntland, um, you know, officials uh, from uh, Ethiopia uh, were hosted uh, to a meeting. Meeting, uh, in Ethiopia, uh, where they discussed different issues, including uh, bilateral ties. Again, this angered um, the federal government uh, very much. Uh, it said uh, that it is a provocation, and it's because also uh, because there is um, tensions uh, between uh, Puntland and uh, the government about uh, an ongoing constitutional uh, review process. Uh, where where um, Puntland says it rejects some of the proposals that have been made, and it's also threatening uh, to withdraw for this, uh, from this uh, federal arrangement that has been in place in the country for so long. So there's a lot of tension, um, and there's a lot of fear as well. All right, thank you. Catherine Soy, thank you for that update from Nairobi.